Hi, I'm Maimon, and welcome back to my home security and video surveillance system videos. It's been a while since I've done my last one, uh, due to schoolwork and other things that kept me busy. But right now, um, since it's a break, basically, uh, I'm going to be showing you a few things to do on this NVR. And today I'm going to show you how to play back old files or videos and back them up on a USB drive. Alright, so usually I talk for three minutes in the beginning of the video, but for now we're going to get right to it. In order to play back old videos, what you want to do is take your mouse. Uh, this is with, uh, I also apologize uh, for people who I haven't been responding to about comments about that high CU. Uh, we don't work for high CU, so <laughs> we're a bit lost in, in some regards. But anyway, to open up the uh, playback, we're going to right click. And then on the drop down menu, you want to click, you want to click video manage or video playback. We're going to click video playback. And because this NVR only st stores about one to two terabytes of data, this only holds about a month worth of data. So let's see, let's go back to, and you can, and you can see here, um, which days it's stored in green. However, if you go back a day, I mean a month, you can see that these are grayed out, which means that it's not stored. But if we go here, you can see that on any of these days, if we click them, let's do the fifth. And what you do after you click it, is you can click the cameras that you want to see. So we're going to do five, six, and seven. And then you want to click search. This is important here because this NVR doesn't do things automatically. You have to click a certain bu button to get the process started. But as you can see, the playback um, changes. This is like a YouTube video. You can basically scroll through any part that you want to see that day. This is our garage. Um, you can see it's messy right now. But as Okay, the other cameras are pulling up right now. So as you can see, these different cameras, which are five, six, seven, and eight, are pulled up. Let's go to um, March 16th. Uh, we're gonna search. This is, this is gonna be an important day, which I'll show you in a minute why. All right, so this is the reason that we want to do uh, this video. In the past, we've, as we said in our videos, we've never used the security camera as a means of doing anything else except deterring people from stealing from us. Not that we have anything to steal, but mainly for my mom to look at the cameras and make sure that nothing's amiss. But a month ago, there was an alleged carjacking in a, in a nearby town. And apparently that stolen car was dropped off all the way here in front of my house. Actually, it was in front of my neighbor's house. And I think the best part about the story is that my neighbor happens to be a cop who works in another town. So <laughs> probably the worst uh, conditions ever. But to add on to that, when the uh, local, when the when the other town's police came by over to um, check out the cars that were stolen because they just left it here, they looked around and they saw our house with cameras, and obviously they stopped by. So the officer that stopped by, he collected the footage uh, and a USB evidence of the uh, uh, sort of alleged crime, and then he went on his day, and that was it. Actually, this footage isn't from that incident because, as I said before, this NVR only stores footage for up, uh, for up about a month. And this happened. This incident happened more than a month ago. However, a month after that incident, which is still a couple of weeks from today, a cop from my local uh, my local um, police department he came by to visit because apparently the cop from the other police department in the other town didn't send them the footage. So he came by to pick up a, a backup uh, a backup of the footage for his files. So um, by the time that he visited, he actually just missed the um, footage, but I actually kept it up in a, in a different USB. But anyway, all right, so here's the bottom line though. Even though we originally bought these, this camera system as a mean of deterrence, we were able to use the footage that we found as uh, to help our local police in an active investigation to solve a crime. And the only drawback to this is that, of course, you're going to get police knocking on your door whenever something happens in front of your house. But I like to think that we live in a good neighborhood. And, you know, it's good to be responsible. If you see something, say something. And in our case, we definitely had to say something. And also, I have to mention this because when, when the police knocked on our door, uh, my mom didn't know what the heck was going on. Uh, I think my dad was... Um... Actually, my dad was there. He answered. But then when they were trying to get the footage there... They were, they didn't really know how to work the system. <laughs> so I came, I came out and uh, I was actually sick at the time. So I was still trying to figure it out and I've never done this before. And I figured out how to back it up. But anyway, I was so giddy 
I was so happy when I saw the uh, policeman there because I take uh, criminal justice classes at uh, UNH. So I was like, oh, this is right up my alley. So of course, I was excited to work with them. But anyway, concerning backups, let's get to showing you how to back it up. Especially for my mom and dad, in case a crime ever happens in front of them and they ever need to back up the files, then they can just skip this video. All right, so here's what we're gonna do with the uh, NVR. So if you didn't notice before, what I did was I actually clicked the channels that I wanted to see. So I got rid of the four channels and just saw ch camera three. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to today. Um, we have not seen his face for privacy reasons. We're gonna go to today. We gotta click search, remember. And when you click search, you're gonna see that there's a list of files from a certain camera. So each of these is an hour long. And as you can hear, it's currently playing sound because this is a sound camera. Let's do 857. And in order to play that file, what we're gonna do is click file playback. In order to back up this file, what we have to do is take a USB drive. And in the back of the NVR, you can't see this, but there is a USB slot or port at the bottom right here so we're going to take the usb drive and put it in there wait a second this is okay there we go as you can see it's flashing red which means that it's inside i mean your usb might not flash red but at least we have it in and now what you want to do is make sure you have this selected make sure you click file playback just in case and then click backup Back up this record? Yes. This Backing up this record usually takes about, in our experience, it takes uh, a max of five to 10 minutes. Uh, but after you, wait a second, hold on. Oh wait, no, I just realized most of these files are an hour long. The one that we have just now is um, 857 to nine. So that was three minutes long. Uh, on hour-long files, it should, it should take a max of five minutes. But anyway, once you have that backed up, we're gonna actually use that one. That's convenient. What you can do is you can exit. Uh, you can take this out. And then you can go to the computer. This is... It's a good thing I had the um, other file on backup because I wouldn't be able to send it to the local police officer. Um, I actually didn't realize that. It, yeah, there's another- actually, hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, so, here's the original USB drive from the incident. Um, here's the thing, it looks cracked and taped right now. Because after the incident happened, I put it- uh, I, I put it in my laptop and then I accidentally bent it. So I thought I lost all the data. But I, I broke it open and uh, repaired it so that I could recover it. So I basically did what was the equivalent of a uh, X-Files investigation. But anyway, once we have that in there, you can see some other things that I did, but what we're interested in is the file that we have today. Don't look at all of these, but this one says, as you can see here, it has all the data in the thing. Camera 3 from 2020, March 29, which is today. At, what time is it? Oh yeah, it's the, it's the right time. Okay, so we're going to click that one. I, I, clicked, I got that from 857. Of course it's 857. We're gonna click on it. You can, you'll see that it actually records pretty well. Okay, that was not what I wanted to show, but apparently sometimes it works out well. However, keep in mind that sometimes the video doesn't uh, encode properly. And this was the case with our previous one. Let, I think I have it somewhere else. Hold on, I'm gonna, wait, I have it here. Sometimes your video can get corrupted or it can be encoded in a format that's not supported. In order to solve that encoding uh, problem, what you can do is you can install a different player that can play that encoding. Uh, in my case, I opened VLC, you know, which is free open software. And this is what I'm talking about. Sometimes the, the, the footage gets corrupted, but in most cases, you're able to see the important parts. Okay, there it is. So you can see uh, a car stops. Maybe you couldn't see, but a car stopped in front of my neighbor's house. And then another car oh, what it gets clearer at, at the incident right and then this car stops here this is the stolen car and then the driver gets out and they switch to the other one 
Uh, hopefully there's no laws on uh, showing evidence, but I think this one's all right. It's not like, like you can make out anything anyway. But when the, um, the cop came over, we just played it back on the NVR and he took videos with his phone. So hopefully um, the file wasn't as important. <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna recap. When you wanna view and back up a file, you wanna right click. Uh, video backup. Actually, we're gonna click video, playback. You can also use a uh, video backup, but this one is more uh, direct. And then you wanna go to your date. Let's do the 18th. You wanna click the cameras you wanna use. You can click only one if you want to. Um, these ones are various settings for depending on your cameras. You wanna click search. Oh yeah, this also um, shows the, the time frame that you wanna search for. But obviously you can see every file within that time frame is listed here. And when you wanna view that, just click file playback. I'm gonna do this one. Oh, that's our garage. I'm gonna show a different one. That one's messy. We're gonna click file playback. And as you can see, when we have this, we're gonna click, we're gonna put our USB drive in the back of the NVR. I'm gonna click backup. And then you wanna click yes, and then it's gonna take a while. And then eventually it's gonna say um, backup is done. Uh, and then you just click confirm and then take the USB out and then you can put it in your computer where you can then view it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to look corrupted or if it's going to look good, but whatever it is, hopefully it'll work out. Yeah, just make sure that when you're looking for a specific time that your, um, your NVR is up to date on time because it might be offset. In our case, our NVR is, um, in our case, our NVR is offset by, right now it says 1848. What time is it? It's okay. Never mind. Um, our NVR used to be um, not up to date, and that was actually after the incident. We corrected it because we realized that it was ahead. No wait. What happened was um, we actually did the NVR videos before daylight savings times, and it was only off during daylight savings times. So daylight savings times recently just happened. So now it's all back to normal. So we're good. But I'll show you how to adjust your time in a different video. So go check that one out. Alright, so I guess that's the end of the video. I'm Ayman, and thanks for watching. Please like or comment, subscribe, we've got videos on I and Ayman, especially the high CU videos, and like I said before, the video on how to change your time and date settings for the NVR. Um, I'm also sitting in a gaming chair right now. Uh, recently, I did a video on this, so go check that one out as well. But for now, yeah, I guess that's it. So, actually, I don't know what to do with this. This one's broken. Signing out. Peace.